right guys so welcome back to the channel today is thursday it is march 9th 2023 so today has just been like a pretty chill day at home except for the fact that we woke up to water a big puddle of water underneath the kitchen sink now the plumber has already been out two times to the home we're staying in first the toilet upstairs in the master bathroom it got clogged and then there was like water leaking out from the sides. Now here in Mexico, it is a common thing that you cannot flush toilet tissue down the toilet. So if any of you are thinking about coming to Mexico or exploring Mexico, just know it is very common to not be able to flush toilet paper. What I've been told is that their like sewer system, their, the pipes and all of that is just not that it's not a good system, but that they use smaller pipes and oftentimes they just get stuck in clogged and they can't handle, you know, our waste plus toilet tissue. I've also heard that in some of the older homes and older neighborhoods that the system itself is just pretty old and probably needs to be replaced. Um, anyway, this is the first house we've been in where we've had like issues, like major issues with it. So that's something to get used to, not being able to flush toilet, especially when we're talking about a number two. And for all my mamas and just women out there, when we're talking about our time of the month, it can get very, very interesting not being able to flush tissue or any anything else down the toilets. But we make do. I'm not going to get into too many details, but we make it work and make it happen so we woke up today water underneath the kitchen sink um so we've been told that when the plumber was here the second time because the kitchen sink was not draining out the water correctly the plumber told me he thinks it's a much much bigger and deeper issue and he's probably gonna have to come back out that was like a day ago when was that guys two days ago so first, that then within the first two days we were here, a plumber came out to fix the toilet. About five days or three days after that, he came back out for the kitchen sink. Today, there's water leaking all over the kitchen sink. So they have to come back out. So he told me, this is part of a much bigger problem. Um, apparently, whoever built the house, there's something like not right in the plumbing system outside of the house. They're literally gonna have to come out and like, dig up the ground and dig up places in the house. Like dig up our backyard? This is just Airbnb, so luckily for us, it's like, it's not our home home, so like, you know, but still, I don't know what that means for me working, the kids going to school, and just our life, but hey. So that has been our morning. Um, we've just been chilling, just relaxing, eating good, because Kai and I went to the grocery store yesterday, and now we're about to start homeschool. I've actually been working all day. For anybody that's curious or wondering, um, how I'm doing this. I am working online remotely. I have been since uh, last year and that is how I am still working. I'm not just like traveling and exploring the world without having a job. I know many people are able to do that or live off savings or whatever, but me, I am a working mama. Um, and luckily I have a fully remote job. So I'm doing that and we are also now checking in. Guys, right, can you see the table? Everybody's uh, checking in and we're about to start homeschool. They're looking crazy. Look at these <laughs> oranges too. <laughs> These oranges looking crazy, but we started homeschool. <laughs> so that's been our day. And, and we're eating snacks too. We're eating snacks. It is super duper hot. Okay. I don't know if I said it before, but the house we're currently in, it's a beautiful house in a really quaint, cozy neighborhood. Um, really kind neighbors. It's a great home. But oh man, there's no AC in the common areas. So that includes the kitchen, dining room, living room area, which is the whole downstairs. There is a bedroom and a bathroom down here as well. And it has an AC unit in there. And the two bedrooms upstairs have AC units. But down here in the common area, no AC unit. The house is in position where the sun just hits the house all day long, burning up. We are already near the hundreds. I think Kai's cutting me off. I was asking a question. Oh, ask a question. <laughs> Kai tells me I talk too long sometimes, so. No, I'm not going to you off. You're fine. All right, go, baby. Uh, can we walk to Oxo today and get popsicles? Maybe. Oxo is just a, like a little store down the street. Yeah, we have a video on the channel about that, but it's like a small little store. They're all around. Like in our one little neighborhood, I think there's like three or four of them. Like they're just everywhere, um, which is awesome. 
like little convenience stores, almost like those gas station marts, but so far I haven't seen them connected to gas stations. They're just like, you know, like a 7-Eleven or a little store you run in. Um, and in our neighborhood, there's a cute park and workout area and uh, um, a soccer field, like all in this like big, what do you call those things in the middle of the street? Do y'all know? Mm. Like it's on a, a median? Yeah, kind of like a really wide median. There's like this whole family wreck type of thing in the middle and the oxo is just right there with it so about a 20 minute walk down the street so yeah maybe we're gonna do that after homeschool after i work a few more hours but yeah that's it for today just chill hot i don't know it's about 97 98 degrees and we're just in the beginning of march so <laughs> stay tuned all right bye Hey guys, so just checking in. This is just my life <laughs> here in the of Mexico. Today is Friday. It is March 10th, 2023. So I woke up a little bit early this morning, feeling good, got ready for work, came down, and I work here basically at this table on my laptop. I got my daughter's ring light that I use um, for my remote work. And then Kai made us a wonderful breakfast. Kai, you still got some left? I um, kind of ate it, but that's okay. What did you make, Kai? Um, made us avocado cheese toast with a fried egg on top and fruit on the side. Yes. So, fun fact, um, here in Merida at least, well, first, maybe I just don't know the right places to go, but... It is not as vegan and vegetarian friendly, at least not where I'm living, <laughs> and on like the apps that deliver food. Most places, I can't even find like a veggie or bean taco or burrito for my girls. That was surprising to me, that is surprising to me. However, I bet you there's some spots that I just don't know about, so I'm gonna check in with the community and the group that I'm in here and just see where are like the good vegan and vegetarian spots. Cause so far, if we order, the girls are eating like pizza and maybe a cheese quesadilla and some fries, but like, that's it. It's so interesting. That's something I didn't expect. So we are planning to go tomorrow um, in the morning to a park where one of the groups, the community groups I'm in on Facebook, they do a walk, skate, ride every single Saturday. So I thought this would be a great way for us to get out, get some exercise, and also connect more with people in the community and the people here. Um, so we um, looked that up, I've planned that, we're gonna go, so I'm super excited. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, in a little while, I'm gonna go meet one of my good friends. Um, in Centro and we're going to just go have brunch and talk and chat and just chill out um, Kid free. This one is a kid free date. And so that's coming up <laughs> That's coming up. We still haven't done like a full house tour. We can do that. And we might go to the beach on Sunday Maybe. We might go to the beach on Sunday. A mom's group that I joined here is uh, Meeting up at a beach that's only 20 minutes away. I can't believe we live in a place where the beach is only 20 minutes away. So, I wanted to show y'all this. Let me, let me turn on the lights. Oh, yeah, turn on the lights. So, we're going to go home. Thank you, love. In the States, we had this big whiteboard, like, you know, just a teacher whiteboard. And we would write a uh, chore list and messages and notes to each other, reminders, just all kind of stuff. So, here, my oldest, uh oh, <laughs> I'm taking the note off. Uh, Kamaya, she made like a little mini board here that we um, can use with our names. And it's different chores and things for us to get done so we can, you know, keep our house in order. So this is something that we did in the States. We utilize boards and, um, you know, just notes and messages and things all the time. We could not, or I was not about to bring that big old whiteboard with us. So this is the mini version that Maya put up on the refrigerator today. So that's about it right now. We did go shopping. We have a video of that. So we've got a bunch of fruits and veggies and we stocked up. Oh, construction <laughs> all day every day i think it stops on the weekend but it is like from sun up to sundown banging everywhere and i've had to get really creative with where i work because part of my job is um uploading videos so yeah that's it for today i will oh okay guys oh boy that's crazy <laughs> They drop it, so they're building some sort of wall right up there. Yeah, next door. Next door, and there's just so much debris in our yard. Yeah, 
They're dropping they said it they would come clean it in their yard. Right. They said they would come to clean it and they haven't come to clean it yet, which is fine. And I'm just going on my But you guys hear that? That's scary. It's not like they're banging it on our like house. That's louder than usual. going to bang through our wall. I wonder what they're That's doing. Like I'm about to go outside and investigate. <laughs> Come, uh, come with no, me. Oh, that's scary. Let, let me, I like to go investigate. I want to see what's happening here. What is this on the floor? I don't know. There's some boo, some goo on the floor. I got a, we got a mop. All right, let's go see. Oh, he's right by the house. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> so he's like right near the wall of our house banging something into the ground and it literally sounds like he's busting through our walls um so what i've learned or what i'm learning at least in this neighborhood uh construction and dogs barking yelping yelping yelling all day long just something you gotta get used to um yeah so that's all for the check-in for now uh we'll check back in a little later and yeah let you know about our day just, no. just, just to check it out <laughs> Look what here. are we doing? It's on. Okay, it's on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? You said you would do the talking. Okay. Hey, guys. We're just checking in again. It's now <laughs> nighttime on um, Friday, March 10th, 10th 2023. Okay, so um, earlier I went and met my friend for lunch. It was such a beautiful time. Loved it. We were in Centro. We went to this fabulous restaurant. I can't pronounce the name, but it's Casa, and then it's like T apostrophe H O. So I don't know if it's To Tao T. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's right on um, Paseo de Montejo, and oh, it yeah. was lovely, super good. Oh my gosh, I'm just um, falling more and more in like with this place. Not in love. Maybe in love. Not <laughs> in love. <laughs> And while I was gone, what did y'all do? We cleaned up the house yes. and made it nicely, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was <laughs> stop. Kai has been freaky. <laughs> no. no. Okay, okay, okay. No, don't cut it. Let's just keep going. So yeah, they had like a house cleaning day. Remember I showed y'all that chore list um earlier? So we went walking just down the street outside our neighborhood and found this cute little park in the subdivision right next to ours. Hey. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> It's not the park that we were going to walk to um, originally. That park is much bigger and has just more stuff. But once we start walking, I just didn't feel like walking all the way there. That park's about 20 minute walk, maybe 15. The first time we did it, it felt longer. But yeah, we just decided to just go on a little stroll. And then we saw this cute little park. It's in the subdivision. Literally just walk out of our neighborhood on the sidewalk and it's just right there. So. The girls are playing a little bit and then we'll probably just go home and uh, call it a night because we're actually getting up in the morning to meet up with some other families at a walk skate uh walk bike skate meetup that apparently they do every single saturday um but it's pretty early in the morning like it's at eight which isn't super early but we have to get up early in order to you know get dressed and get an uber to get there but i'm excited to connect with some other families here in merida um, and check out the um, walk, bike, skate meetup that apparently they've been doing for quite a while now here. So yeah, that's it. And there's the park and the girls playing. Is it doing that thing where it turns? <laughs> no, don't 
It's kind of not too loud. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Oh my goodness, you're gonna give yourself a headache or really help, um, hurt your neck, okay? Yeah, whiplash, stop that. All right. All right, bye guys.